Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to be one of 2025's most powerful smartphones, largely thanks to the brand new Exynos 2600 chip. After years of criticism, Samsung seems ready to make a strong comeback with this processor, built to rival Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite. Built on Samsung's second-generation 2MAM process, the Exynos 2600 promises major improvements in both performance and efficiency. It features a Cortex-X5 core supported by 7A7 cores and 5A5 cores, plus an Eclipse 940 GPU based on AMD's RDNA 3 architecture, delivering console-level graphics and smart AI optimizations. Early Geekbench 6 results show scores of around 3,309 in single-core and 11,256 in multi-core, outperforming last year's Exynos 2400 and even matching, or slightly beating, Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon chips. These numbers translate to faster app launches, smoother multitasking, and stronger video editing performance. However, it's important to note, these results come from prototype units tested under ideal conditions, so final scores may drop slightly once retail models are released. Even so, Samsung's progress is undeniable. With its 2M efficiency boost and advanced AI integration, the Exynos 2600 could mark Samsung's true return to the top. Leaks suggest the Exynos 2600 will power most Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus models globally, while the S26 Ultra will use the Snapdragon 8 Elite in the US and China, and the Exynos 2600 in other regions. If these leaks prove accurate, the Exynos 2600 could be Samsung's biggest comeback yet, proving that its in-house chips can once again stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the industry. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the most talked about flagships of 2025. Every leak, every specification, and every rumor just adds more excitement to what could be Samsung's biggest leap in mobile photography yet. According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's 3X telephoto camera features a 10 megapixel sensor with an f/2.4 aperture and a 1/3.94 inch sensor size. On the other hand, the Oppo Find X9 Pro's 3X camera is on a completely different level, boasting a massive 200 megapixel sensor, a 2.1 aperture, and a 1/1.56 inch sensor. Ice Universe points out that Oppo's sensor is 6.4 times larger than Samsung's, allowing for 8.3x more light intake and a 20x increase in pixel count. In simple terms, Oppo's setup promises more detail, better low-light performance, and overall superior image quality. He then posed an interesting question, which one would you choose? That sparked a lively discussion among users, questioning whether Samsung might be starting to fall behind in the camera race but Samsung seems to think otherwise. In another post shared by ICE, Samsung's official newsroom page proudly highlighted their 15 years of camera innovation under the tagline, always one step ahead. The company emphasized that for over a decade and a half, Samsung has continuously pushed smartphone photography to new heights, redefining what a mobile camera can achieve, especially with the power of Galaxy AI now playing a central role in editing and image processing. So, while Oppo might be making bold moves with hardware, Samsung is clearly betting on the perfect blend of AI intelligence and sensor optimization to maintain its lead. Now, the real question remains, will Samsung's combination of AI and advanced image tuning be enough to stand tall against Oppo's massive camera sensor? We'll just have to wait and see what the Galaxy S26 Ultra truly delivers when it officially launches. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12 megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. 
It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't